Now we're going to be doing some alternate balloons rounds with no monkey knowledge over here on Lotus Island. And we're redoing our build because our initial build wasn't that solid and didn't get us through the level quickly enough. So we're going to start things off by placing Quincy down right over here. The pack is ready. And beginning. We are going to leak a little bit here on this round and the next round, and that's just part of the process of playing this level with no monkey knowledge. We really want to get Quincy down early so that Quincy can start scaling and shooting everything as it comes in, as well as providing some future camo vision to our monkey subs later on in the run here. We're just saving up money for the ninja monkey right now. So we're going to have to wait while these camo balloons leak on through. Wake up! Quincy always loves to tell us to wake up when we're not doing well enough. That's a good friend right there. I'm going to place this right here. Wake up! And we're going to set this to prioritize the camo balloon. And while it may be tempting to upgrade this further, Wake up. you should save up your money for an alchemist here as we need something that's going to be able to pop the lead balloon. And there's no better tower to do it than the alchemist early on because we want to be able to buff this so that it can pop Wake the camo up, leads that are coming. So we drop this here. And we set this to strong. And now we can save up our money for a monkey sub. There we go, we would have leaked that if we didn't have the alchemist. Wake up. We're still gonna leak a balloon there. We're fine though, as long as we're not dead. We're gonna place a monkey sub up here in this little circle. And we want to upgrade the advanced intel as quickly as we can. Tasty. That way we start leveraging the vision that Quincy gets as well as the vision these two monkeys get. And then before we forget we need to upgrade this to the acidic mixture dip so that we can pop the camo leads as they come in. And giving this a little more popping power doesn't hurt anything either. Now we're going to upgrade this ninja monkey to 202. But we need to be extra careful that we don't upgrade this to double shot on accident. Because we're going to be using this bottom tree here later on in the run. Leaking just a little tiny bit there. No big deal. There's the two. Now we need the other two. And now we're really solid. So we're going to upgrade this as much as we can here for a little bit. There's the camo lead. But we were ready for it this time. Tasty. Now we're getting some air burst darts and we can save up for another alchemist so that we can give this the ability to pop lead balloons. Which will also be giving it the ability to pop camo leads because Quincy is Currently above level 5. And we're going to place that alchemist right over here. And we can see that acidic mixture dip and the ability to see camos just came in handy.
Now we're going to pour all of our money into this Great. until we get to the armor-piercing darts. Here we're really demonstrating how good early to mid-game this monkey sub is. It's really enabling us to go through these early levels pretty quickly. And while it definitely lacks in the AoE, it's really good for the initial round 40 here where we're going to be dealing with a fortified Moab. Not something you really want to see on round 40, but we're going to deal with it anyways. So now we have this to 3-2, and we're going to save up for the stronger stimulant while we're here. Need another 700. Pretty please. Get ready to feast. And we get a right one that pops. Yes. If we could have just gotten it a little bit earlier, we wouldn't have to wait for that red balloon there. But now you can see the power in this build, right? We're able to pop things right when they come onto screen there. Moabs still seem to be a bit of a problem, but we can address that here with upgrading this to the Sticky Bomb. We can see because we place this ninja down here, the ninja can see around this corner and immediately start throwing the Sticky Bombs on stuff that comes around the corner. And because we already invested some money in here, we can upgrade this a little more so that we get the Berserker Brew onto this. Yes. And we're also going to grab the Stronger Stimulant. More Flash Bombs isn't the worst thing. It's also pretty impressive that this has popped 800 as an Alchemist that's really only supposed to be buffing. If we compare that with our other alchemists, zero. Now we have our ninja monkey fully buffed, and we're just taking a look here. It seems like we just need some more popping power up here. And how can we get up here and do as much damage as we can? We're going to build a monkey heli over here. Doesn't matter where you put it, it's actually better to put it over here because we don't want it to take the alchemist buff. And we're going to upgrade that to the razor rotors. And we're also going to get the ability to see camo balloons. So now this can see camo balloons is all the way up here in the top of your screen, doing damage all the time. We're going to go ahead and grab the faster firing, so this is 302 now. And we're going to grab an alchemist to buff it so it does even more damage. Saving up for just a minute here to get the stronger stimulant. And we also want jungle drums. The jungle drums also gives the alchemist better uptime because this tower shoots really fast. What I really like about this tower is it's able to go up here and shoot stuff right as it comes in. So 
So it's constantly getting value here. Lots of mobs coming in. How can we address those mobs? We're going to get some monkey aces to fighter plane. And we're also going to upgrade this right here. We don't want it to get the alchemist buff though. Because this doesn't really pop anything other than mobs. We can see we're starting to get a lot of stacked balloons coming in. We want to grab the monkey sub right here. And we're going to find a spot that isn't within range of that alchemist. And we're going to upgrade this right here. And we're also going to set this to strong. Put another one up here. Set that to strong as well. And we can see here this alchemist is in a spot where pretty much everything is going to get buffed if we want to put anything else up here, which is fine. We can just put more monkey subs. Another good spot is right here. Set that to strong. And we can see here they're sharing that vision. Even though it's not going to come into play here, it's a pretty interesting placement for your other runs that are going to go deeper into round 100 and such. Get another one and set it to strong. One more should be enough. And now we need some good AoE. And we'll get the most cost effective AoE out there, the Moab Mauler. We're gonna set that to strong and get the bigger bombs upgrade because we're not going to round 100. And we can see that we already popped a thousand. Really good value from this tower sometimes, isn't it? see here we're doing pretty well. We can put one more tower here. We can get the placement right. And we're going to upgrade the bottom tree because we want the AoE on the already broken mobs. And we can see there we're performing pretty well. How are these monkey subs doing? 11,000. Pretty decent. For what we paid for them, that's not the worst. We compare that to the recursive cluster, which we know as a baseline is pretty strong. And it's not outperforming them too much there. And we can see here this has popped over 70,000 for us, which is really nice. So it's definitely worth the investment there. It's pretty much caught up to this monkey sub over here. Which we know was one of the first towers we invested in and popped a lot for us. And we can see stuff coming in that we don't like there. Let's go ahead and get a Bluntonium reactor to help pop the non-Moab stuff. We definitely have enough damage to Moabs. there we have it. That's our new alternate balloons rounds strategy. 
nothing else really needs to happen here, and stuff is gonna get popped before it even gets past this monkey sub here. But even with the new strategy, it was still a little slow. I think that's just the nature of Lotus Island and the vision blockers there. And there you have it. The better way to get your medal.